Okie cokey. Welcome to Roasty Toasty. Roasty Toasty is a feature that's basically exists for entertainment purposes. Please don't take anything personally within this feature. What we're going to do is Dan's going to sit and show me some images that I've not seen before and I don't know who they're by. I, everyone's just submitted them randomly. I don't know what's going on in this stage. But I'm either going to roast them or I'm going to toast them. So I do have half a day of work still left to do, so I'm not going to be toasting with alcoholic beverages, but if it's an epic image, we're going to talk about that and we're going to toast to it with a mug of tea. If the image is not worthy, in my opinion, of being even put on a fridge magnet, then we're going to roast it. Before we get started, let's just introduce everybody that's with us today. I am Jessica McGovern, international multi-award winning portrait photographer. I am known as Picky Patricia in my judging alter ego for picking at little things, but I usually frame them in a positive and constructive manner that's helped many people become international award winning photographers. However, today I'm going to just go with it and not put my verbal filter on and I'm going to be brutal and things are going to probably get a bit mean. But don't panic because anybody who has submitted images for this has checked the tech, checky, 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 check box thing that says that they are okay with me roasting their images. They won't take it personally. It's exaggerated for entertainment purposes and that they also can't commence legal proceedings just because I needed to cover our asses. This is Dan. Dan is my husband. Um, Dan doesn't like being in front of the camera at all. So um, this is a, a experience for him. Dan's going to be screening and showing the images to me on the screen that you can just see on the far left of your screen. <laughs> I could just see the cogs turning in your head. Oh, leave me alone. So I think that we should just start this. I don't know how this is going to work. We're just exploring the situation, but let's not waste any more time. Right, let's go. Daniel, I'm going to close my eyes until you say ready with the first one. You haven't? Just... I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ready, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. How fast does my reaction have to be? Like, Lewis Hamilton off the start line, like 0 0.2 seconds, like bang. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's a happy dog, isn't it? Makes you smile. It does. See, the issue with this image, and just for full clarity, is that I know the dog. And therefore, I know the photographer, which means that the whole anonymous side of things has disappeared because I know the dog. And I know that this person is laughing at this picture. But the other side of me knows that loads of people would think that this picture was amazing yeah. and like fantastic because it's got like all of the different bits in, leading lines, some frames, etc. But I know that the author of this image knows that I will say this is shit because, <laughs> because because her work now is it's like worlds away worlds away yeah. from this so for that reason we're going to roast it <laughs> this light is crap what are the things that we think could be improved well first of all the dog's nose is blue i'm not gonna lie but it is in the shade the dog looks happy focus i think it's in the right place dana can we check please okay maybe not right <laughs> Okay, this image therefore does need to be roasted appropriately. Number one, we've got artifacts happening down on the left near the whiskers. Number two, the eyes are soft. They're not in focus, they're not the sharpest part of the image. The sharpest part of the image is the nose, the nose has got blue tint to it, the white bodice is off. She looks freaking adorable and, and, and everything. But, you know, I mean, uh, this, <laughs> I'm uh, clutching the straws. The image is good because it's, a smiling staffy. I mean, uh, do you have anything you'd like to say? It's got a nice space on the left hand side. Yeah, and I think the criteria of it being 
of the fridge magnet needs to be thrown out the window because I'd actually put that on a fridge magnet. Oh, yeah, I'd put it on a fridge <laughs> magnet as well. Yeah, so it's like a semi. I mean, I would not toast into it, but we're not gonna we're not gonna roast it like horrendously. So yeah, let's move on, Daniel, please. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so bad with you just laughing at them. <laughs> Have <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you gone there? That is just not what I was expecting. I just, I was expecting more. That's all. That's all I was expecting. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, right. Well, you know, it's the white balance looks good. The white balance looks good, doesn't it? It does. It does. The white balance looks good, and. And the subject has focus on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, let's just look at that. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but this one is going to be a roast in the nicest possible way. The dog... Uh, oh, mm. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. I don't want to crush anyone's soul. Um, I can't... Oh, uh, God, there's no light in the eyes of the subject whatsoever. Uh, the expression is uncomfortable. But, you know, we've got a curve in the dog. The subject's curved. We've got to give that credit somewhere in, in some way, shape or form. Your angle of shot's good. We're down at floor level. This is positive. There's a huge expanse of sky that's not blown out but it's really not great it, it, it's there's a lot that we need to improve on but we've got some of the basics in place so i feel like you know i i'm not going to be putting this on a fridge magnet i'm not i'd agree i'm not it's not going to go on my fridge magnet this time um but i think we've got some of the basics in place that we can we can use to move forwards and i i i yeah let's carry like shall we move on oh we can't do this one this was my sample one no, do you know what? <laughs> I forgot to put that one in. <laughs> I was just testing the... Good job I'm not wearing that jumper in it. That'd have been weird. <laughs> I was just testing the submissions. Let's do this one, Dan. Let's, okay. Would you roast this or toast this? Um, so funny that it's this person. Um, and it was shot by me. And this was during a light test for something else definitely not a male portrait i uh i just, i mean what are you trying to say about the subject no it's about the light <laughs> it's about the light the light the lighting um uh okay uh i think i think that that it could probably go on a fridge magnet for your mum <laughs> all right is the is it sharp in the eyes please daniel Yes. Is it? I don't know. Uh, maybe. I feel like it's sharp on your beard. It is sharp on the eyes, yeah. though, isn't it? Let's yeah. be honest. Okay, right. So that doesn't really count. Um, oh, it's boring as hell. Like, it looks like you've, I've sat you down for a school portrait. That's what I? it felt like as well. Yeah, I mean, not, not, not going to lie. The light coming in from the right hand side is nice. Um, there's a little bit of a edge edge light happening on the right, but I mean, you look uncomfortable. You're smiling, but your eyes aren't, and your shoulders look uncomfortable, and your arms don't look great. No offense, not about you. It's about the pose. We've done better portraits of Dan Dan, so we can carry on. Next one, please. Oh, look at the little squishies. Um, um, okay. Um, I think it could go on someone's fridge magnet. I'd put that on a fridge magnet. You, okay, good. Okay. Um, I don't know what our criteria is here. Is it fridge magnet? Is that the lowest bar that we're, we're happy to go? But what else are you going to go below fridge magnet? Um, well, it's, see, the thing is, fridge magnets are like novelty items, aren't they, really? Well, yeah, but you also do get some... Would you put it on the wall? I wouldn't put it on the wall, no. Oh, no. Look at that. Straight away. No. That was really brutal. <laughs> Why? 
The don't try and fluff it up. I'm why? Not. Why wouldn't you put it on the wall? I just don't think the we've got the attention of the dog on the left hand side. Well, no, we definitely don't have. Whereas well, we have the attention of the other two. So do we? I don't think we do. The, more so. The right hand one is, I think, looking at us, but no one else is. And the middle one is surely. The middle one's not looking at us. The middle one's looking above us. Are you looking at the same image? Can you zoom in? Oh, I don't know now. You've but, got to think it's lower, so he's going to be looking slightly high, like his eyes are going to be tilted up compared to the dog on the right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Where, where's middle doggo looking? Okay, so let's let's just look. So, I mean, the light's quite interesting. I like the fact that we've got some of the directional light happening. This is good. Top of yellow dog's head, bit hot, not going to lie. Right doggo's eyes, I think, were soft when we did the zoom in. So if we could just re-zoom, yeah. yeah. So we don't have focus on the eyes. Remember, we, we, we have covered how to take images of multiple dogs all together. That would be a good thing to look at for this one. But even then, it is still really, really, really difficult. What about Doggo on the left-hand side, please, Dan? Okay, I think we're, we're softening out, but we're not horrendous. So that we could take that as a win. See, this this is the issue with images like this. So if we just look specifically at the dog on the left hand side, the dog is in that like excessive either hyper arousal or post exercise panting, and that makes th them look quite I don't know uncomfortable. Is the easiest way. The ears is often set slightly backwards. The um, mouth's very, very wide open and the tongue's hanging quite far out. Middle dog is an okay panting situation, really, because the tongue's not coming that far out. The ears are still set forwards. We still have the attention there. So it's a little bit uncomfortable. The grasses around the front aren't helping, specifically over doggo on the left, that kind of plant that's coming up there. But, but... 100% credit needs to be given for the fact that we're at the eye line of the subjects and we've got the space below and the space above. We're a little bit tight on the sides. If this was left in a 3-2 crop, a 6 by 4 crop, then we would end up being in a more comfortable situation crop-wise, but it, it's been crop narrower on the sides. Um, and in, in this case, just too narrow on the sides. But I, I don't think I don't think, I think it's that bad. Like, I don't. I... I, I I think it needs work, um, but I, I think the dog's owners wouldn't know and they'd be all right with it. I, that doesn't mean that I would excuse out of focus faces for professional practice. That's not the case. It's not what I'm saying. Uh, but what I'm saying is that it would be fine on a fridge magnet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shall we continue? Oh, I think this is actually quite cute. So do you know what? Screw it. I'm going to toast to it and have some tea. Okay, so I think I actually think this is a really sweet image. Uh, I like the color scheme. The color scheme's yeah. working nicely in there, and I think it's sweet. Can we do a focus check, please, Daniel? I'd say we're fine. So good, 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 good. Oh, nothing, nothing kind of jumps out at me as being a panic stations at the ready or anything like that in this shot. It's quite nicely composed. We've got quite a nice space happening around the edges. The colours do work nicely together. There's something quite dark on the left-hand side that comes out. It's like a little, like a shape thing, that thing. That's distracting me quite a lot, but probably nothing's more distracting for me than all the bits everywhere, specifically the, the white areas on the right-hand side of the blanket. So you've got like that white speck of something there on the right and then also yeah and then the hair at the point of the crease and then a couple of other little white dots elsewhere then we've got the hairs on the subject all of these things could have just been cleaned up and then the image would be better immediately because you've got less distractions so remember if it's not adding to the image if it's not adding to the story then it shouldn't be there it should be taken away and that's true for this one but i actually think this is a good shot i think i, I think the, the creator of this did a good job it's nice and simple, got good eye contact, catch lights in both eyes, really, really important. Things that people probably don't usually mention or talk about. The pose of the subject's good, the flat down's nice, the blanket over the head, it's okay. I'd have liked the left-hand side part of the blanket that comes down to not have the seam there, if I'm being uber picky. Well, I've gone picky Patricia on this other night. But I like the shot, we've toasted to it. 
it's okay. It could go on a wall with some cleaning. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Do we have any more? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Again, I know the dogs and now I know the person. Um... Um, um, I mean, the bokeh shapes are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, focus check, please. It's so hard to get this dog's eyes in focus. It's unreal. Um, but she, I think, I think, I think so, that yeah. is it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love her hair. Like, I feel like we just can't get past this dog's hair. Like, his crazy hair. Um, I like the, the uh, sh t um, how do I word this in a nice way? See, this image, again, is another one where people would be like, that's a really good picture. Yeah. But then, like, when you know that person's work, the level of work, then this becomes, she's going to, she's, She's going to She's probably up... laughing at you right now because she's probably put in this to put you in this position. I know. <laughs> but, see, the thing is, is that she will pick up on what I said. Because do you remember that time in, in the deep critiques? And I said her, it was just a headshot. And then she said, Jess said my picture was boring. <laughs> That's what's happening here in this situation, okay? So, the, 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 sharp in the right place. Yeah. The space could be more to the side that we need it. The lighter area of the background could be also more to the side that really we need it, which is where the subject's looking. But, um, re I mean, I'm not... I'm not going to fight for the image. Yeah, I'd agree. It's not... It's not hitting me in the feels uh, in, in, in any way. I do just love her hair. I mean, it's far better than my hair. And I think she's adorable. But this, there's just not enough here. This, this one was hard. It's this... amazing how much difference either having eye contact with the subject or knowing what they're looking at makes to an image. Yeah, like, look, like it's, it's, it's um, expressions with intent. Yeah. It's like focus. Uh, not like sharpness focus, but like attention focus. Yeah. So like I'm looking at Dan and I'm looking at Dan. I'm not just kind of like looking in that general direction. Like there's a, Impact. you know? Yeah, and I, I don't I don't feel like we get that from this. But the question is, are we going to roast it or are we going to toast it? Because it's not, like you could put it on a fridge magnet, it would be fine. You could put it on Instagram, Instagram would probably like it because there's some golden bokeh in the background. But like... In our, do, do you know what I mean? I, mean, I, feel I know what I mean. I think we... because if I didn't know it was her, then I would probably put it on a fridge magnet. Put it on a fridge magnet, but because I know it's her, and I know the work that she creates now at this level. Then to me, it, you just almost need to go into the roast pile. I'm conf I'm fully conflicted. Well, I'm gonna toast it. You can roast it. The lighter didn't want me to do that, <laughs> so I'm also going to toast to it. Now, I, 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 we've seen better. Um, I, yeah, I'm caught. This was hard. It was, yeah. This is like I don't like this one. I do. I love you, but that was hard. So next time when we sit down and do this, we're going to need probably more pictures, I would say, as a good start. So if you want to submit your own image, please make note of the fact that there are those checkboxes and I, you have to read them because you can't get angry with me for laughing at your picture on this feature. It's You, you can't. It's not allowed. OK, so. If you want to submit, then there is a link in the description to the Rosie Toasty page to submit some pictures for this. It is completely anonymous. We're not going to be showing anything that's identifiable. Please do not put your watermarks on the image. If your watermarks on the image, it will be removed. So it is completely 100% anonymous. Dan is going to make sure that the images are collated in a way that we can randomize them. So we don't know, your image might not be in the next one, okay? But it, but it also might be. It depends on the volume that we have here. So Roasty Toasty, I've actually had quite a lot of fun with that. We'll leave it there. We'll stop now. And uh, I I need to discuss with my, with my mental self about 
somehow I'm going to do this in a way that doesn't make me feel really bad for picking faults in pictures. Uh, and if you'd like to see my images inside this, then also let me know because I'm happy to roast and toast my own shot. Well, mostly roast, really. Um, I would fridge, mag fridge magnet them. I think if yeah. we put your images in, you don't choose them. I go through and choose them. Oh, God. Really? It makes it a bit more exciting. Okay, well, we need consensus on that. So if you would like to see more pictures in that Dan would pick, then go ahead and pop that, pop that in the comments below. Please do comment down below what you liked about this video. Hopefully there's something. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. The bell icon will give you a notification every single time I release a video. And um, we'll see you next week for something. Whatever's next week. That was hard. That was really, really hard. Okay, but high five on it.